I'm sorry, but I just saw this and I started cracking up just because of the carelessness. What is testrophone? Or however you spell it. And how should react when getting it? Testrophone. Well, let me tell you about that. <laughs> Perfect. people welcome and welcome back to my channel today's video I'm gonna be answering your questions now there was a lot of questions on both Instagram and on YouTube so I'm gonna try to comb them out and let me my hair's my hair's messed it's messed up so let me, let me do awesome justice anyways were you ever were you ever bullied by other guys at school? If so, how did you deal with that? Um, I kind of mentioned this a little bit in my last video, but it was more towards the Boys and Girls Club. But in t with school, no, not really. Um, the school that I go to is uh, like an hour away from my actual uh, city. So it's a smaller town. Um, and those kids there, they're more of a community because it's like, everybody knows each other, they're right next door, so everyone kind of knew, like, like, everyone knows who I am and I know who everyone else is, so when I came out, it wasn't a surprise to anyone, so people kind of already figured that that was going to be the motions I was heading into, the paths I was heading to. Um, so, and people, if they were bullying me, it was never confrontational, so I wouldn't have known about it. And people know better than to confront me because I'm just saying that I'm a Scorpio, so yeah. That was also someone else's question, but just so y'all know, Scorpio. Uh, do you still get periods or cramps? No, I don't. Um, yeah, so I started my period maybe like 14 13 maybe 14 uh and obviously terrible terrible i ain't gonna go in depth for that because that those are the moments in life that you just don't want to relive and i commend all you females for having to go through it your entire lives because oh, it's and this is different for everybody but for me i believe um two weeks after i started testosterone i, I believe i'm this is just to my recollection it was completely gone like i haven't had it since and obviously because the hormonal balance, imbalance and stuff have you ever experienced dating the opposite biological gender so when i was female have i ever dated someone that was male no i've always held true to myself my mind has always um been very uh direct in the things that i want so when it was even brought up. I shut the whole operation down. There was no like convincing me otherwise. So I've always gone after females. So when I asked, do you still, do you want to still be a girl? Do you, do you want to still be a girl? Have you looked at my channel? Someone said, I'm cool if you don't answer. I'm really just curious. You're fine, by the way. But do you have a... X... Dix... 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 Do I have one? Um, I actually addressed this in one of my videos. I'll put that in the description or whatever kind of cool thing I got uh, I can do transition-wise. So I'll make sure to make sure to check out that video. I answered that question before. Have you now changed fully? Uh, so this is subjective because uh, some people have different ideals and wants in terms of where they want to end up as their end goal transition wise. Um, personally me, no I haven't. I'm still looking to do bottom surgery later in my life and that's also another question that you guys ask. And will you get bottom surgery? Yes. Um, now there's two types of bottom surgery, this phalloplasty and I can't, I can never say this word right. Metoid, Met I'm putting it right, I'm putting it right there. So y'all can read it. So one is basically using the bottom growth that testosterone gives you. Um, 
and then it just like you know kind of i'm not even gonna speak too much about it because i don't know much about it um and the other one is just using skin grafts i believe from your arm or your thigh or thigh thigh or yeah something like that and then they construct your you know what <laughs> with the skin grafts how long did it take for you to actually actually look masculine um well i believe like maybe like last year honestly but a lot of people have been saying that i've always looked masculine since i was a female and i don't know how to feel about that because had i stuck with being a female would y'all be saying that i look masculine because then that's kind of hurtful i ain't gonna lie that's kind of hurtful i don't know a lot of people say um it like a lot of people have different beliefs to when it i started to really looking well i started to really look masculine so yeah, a lot of people say right off the bat, like within um, five months or so. Um, others said like a year. Some people say three. So it's really up to your opinion. Um, what was your name when you were younger as a female? Um, it was Nia. I actually really love the name uh, Nia. My uh, parents, they thought of the name from uh, Nia Long. If you guys don't know who Nia Long is, then you guys are uncultured or too young. I just want to say that it's one or the other. It's no in between. So, and then my middle name was Sade, uh, which is actually from Sade Adu. If you guys don't know her, then again, too young or uncultured, no in between. Real quick, while I'm editing, I realized, like I completely forgot, but I realized uh, Shadi Adu actually has a transgender son, so just want to say this could be completely coincidental. But God don't make no mistakes, and he made me. He made me. Nia Shadi, bro, near for a reason. It just so happens that Shadi Adu's son is transgender. What are the odds? What are the odds? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go back to editing. Deuces. <laughs> and also my aunt's name is Sade, so it was just like, so Nia Sade Bernier. I'm probably gonna name my child that. How old were you when you started to dress like your true self, a man? Um, always did, even when I was younger always refused to wear certain clothing and stuff like that. So, always did. I can, I'll insert another picture if you guys want that. Cause I would always take my brother's clothing or pay my friends for their like clothing in like large quantity quantities. So yeah, sorry for asking. When did your mustache grow in? Honestly, you guys, let me give y'all. Don't be scared. I'm sorry, I'm coming close to the camera. Don't be scared. Yeah, it ain't too much to look at, but when did I start growing? Late. I'm definitely not as fast as the other guys that are on testosterone, but I'll have to look through some of my pictures for that, but yeah. While taking a shower, does the scar sting? No, man. I don't think it ever did sting, no. Were you scared to announce to YouTube that you were a transgender male? No, always taking full pride in who I am and the things that I do. So telling the world about it was just like, what's up? You know, it wasn't a battle. It wasn't um, a hindrance to anything. Wasn't scared, just embraced it. I, I embraced who I am. I don't understand how you're a transgender. You look like a boy and sound like a boy. I don't get it. Now this is amazing. Uh, drug or medication, however you want to describe it, a steroid um, called testosterone, right? It is the hormone, hormone that are, that is biologically given to males, boys, men, etc. Females have estrogen, right? So now it is a natural hormone. If you're a female, you have a little bit of testosterone. If you're a male, you have a little bit of estrogen. So now when you take testosterone, right? As a female, biologically born as a female, take that testosterone, and it raises those uh, hormone levels and then 
assuming you got leg. So this is your, this is your estrogen level. This is your testosterone. You take it for years and years and years because it's like indirect relationship. Goes like that and boom, just like that. You got like that and then you got like that. Did you ever tell your football coach and also the team and how did they react? Uh, like I mentioned, we're in a, my school is a small community, so they knew me since like I started going to the school. Um, and I started going to the school when I was in kindergarten. So it's kindergarten, um, elementary, middle school, and then high school. So we're all funneled throughout the same um, school district. So it was nothing new for them to hear. They knew about it. When was the first time you felt that you were different? Um, I mean, I've always felt like I've been a little bit of an oddball just because of my personality and who I am and my mannerisms and stuff like that. But um, I would probably say when I came to terms with it and I demonstrated the most um, like resistance to my, um, my biological identity was in first grade. That's when I, because um, like, I, like I mentioned, my birth name is well, my birth name was Nia, so I would always refer to myself as Nick. I thought I was clever. You know, if you can get, because I spelled the N-I-A for Nia, so if I, like, twist that A a little bit, like, keep it as an A, but then, like, C it a little bit, and then put the K like that, because, you know, it's kind of like an A a little bit, and then, like, put, put a tiny, two tiny little stems for that K. I was set. I was set and content. How does your male friends feel about you being transgender? Quite frankly, all of my friends across the board, even the people that I encountered that didn't know that I was trans, all say the same thing in consensus that they they literally either don't even notice, they forget, or it hasn't even dawned on them <laughs> at any point in our friendship. Um, honestly, because it's only a tiny segment of who I am as a person, so when like when I make these YouTube videos, um, first of all, I just want to say majority of my friends don't even watch my YouTube videos because they don't want to hear everything like 20 times. But whenever I post something on my YouTube videos and it, you know, a lot of people comment and stuff like that. And I mention it, they go, oh yeah, I forgot you were trans. And I'm just like, me too. How do you cope with things? How do you cope with negative things people say about you being trans? Good comments come, bad comments come. I just deal with it just like how it is. If someone says something derogatory or rude or snarky or whatever, I let them take benefit of the doubt. They're completely entitled to whatever they want to say. If I was to, if I was to believe in someone else's opinion of me, what does that say about me? I know myself the best, and I always know that I need to be better to everyone else than how they are because then I win in the end. So that's my answer to that. Hopefully that helps you. Some some of the things I can even crack a smile or laugh at because you know, people are fools. <laughs> so no, you don't always have to be too serious or super sensitive about the things that people say because you know, people say the darnest things. And I'm pretty sure every, like you have, I have, so whatever doesn't define you. Have you ever felt uncomfortable changing around your teammates? That's a good question. Uh, so 100% <laughs> uh, for lots of reasons. Um, one, when I was playing football, I did not have top surgery yet. So there was obviously limitations into how much I was willing to expose. I mean, I was I always chose the lockers more towards the back end. And since everyone literally forgets that I'm trans, they don't even like, it doesn't come across their mind at all that I still have a biological difference. So maneuvering, going to the the stall when I, when I could to change up there and try to be fast and run up to the field. Cause at the end of the day, when it was any anything regarding football, practice, games and stuff like that, that was always at the forefront of our minds. No one was caring, caring remotely to what I looked like, what I was doing, or even had the time for bullying me because my school were very like football. Like we, that's our passion, right? So everyone is more so focused on themselves or trying to better someone, help better someone else on the field. 
and so yeah how you how are you able to grow in facial hair and is it the meds that you so yes <laughs> It was the testosterone injections and I want to clarify this because people ask or people just assume or people say I take pills hold on first of all I can barely swallow a pill so for me to be taking pills for my testosterone was never the case I take um, injections so I do my own shots I've always been doing my own shots and yes it gives me the male um, Features like the mustache, the voice, and all that jazz. You a good man, thank you. Was your family always supportive of you from the jump? Um, some family members more than others in my in my immediate family. Um, it took a little bit. It took a while for certain family members to come around. Um, so yes and no. I did get a lot of support from the school and they put a lot of pressure for the supportiveness to come out. So that I, I give a lot of credit to, to my school and how they handled the situation and um, getting that support to be more present. Even if it's fake support, it's still support that furthered me into my entire transition to getting um, medical assistance, financial assistance, and um, overall health assistance and stuff like that. So yes and no. So if anyone's having those type of troubles, I highly recommend going to some type of source that you know could help you a lot more. Um, mine just so happened to be my school system. Now I'm officially done. <laughs> I answer a lot of questions. Uh, I'll answer a lot more in another video more pertaining to person personal stuff. Like, are you dating? Blah, 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 blah. Do, 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 do. What's, your, what's your favorite color stuff like that so hope you guys like this video when you guys know what to do like 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 comment and follow my social medias and have a good day this is